Hello, hey there, how's it going? Good, me too, I'm fine, thank you. Uh, this is the Sunday recap video for August the 16th, 2020. Uh, didn't shoot it at church, I'm shooting it right now at home. Well, I'm just enjoying my lunch. Check this out, guys. V8. I filled it with uh, iced tea, but... Anyways, uh... We had a really lovely service this morning. We didn't get to the talking points that I had brought, but that was fine. I was going to talk about uh, moving on from our past uh, out of this verse in Philippians 3.13, leaving the past behind, pressing on towards the goal, the goal of the upward call of Jesus Christ. And instead, uh, we started with a kind of sharing time uh, out of, I mean, there's various places in the New Testament where it talks about bringing our song, hymn, and spiritual song this one is from 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 26 when Paul says, What then shall we say, brothers and sisters, when you come together, each of you has a hymn or a word of instruction, a revelation, a tongue, or an interpretation. Everything must be done so that the church may be built up. And so that was the purpose of that time, and we're going to continue uh, in that mode as we meet together next week and in some of the weeks to come allowing everyone an opportunity, a space to share something, either from their life or something they're wrestling with, something they heard, bringing a song, a prayer, their own hymn, all that kind of stuff for the purpose of building us all up, building the church up. And so that conversation um, ended up being a, a lot about our response to the pandemic and things we've heard in the midst of the, the pandemic, whether it's uh, from the kind of like scientific government side or whether it's from a kind of like prophetic spiritual side and what was cool is I felt the kind of trajectory of the, the meeting began with us sharing from some of our experiences and from our individual perspective and then by the end of the meeting the perspective was certainly and the focus was certainly on the primacy and the centrality of God in Christ Jesus and so as we moved through the service we moved very naturally into a time of worship and prayer uh, and that was the service but what was cool about it was that the worship and prayer really came out of something it wasn't like hey this is the, the what we do at the beginning of the service it really emerged as a kind of organic and very natural response to what people had brought in this kind of vein when you come together each of you has a hymn a word instruction all that kind of stuff so uh not a lot by way of like sermon points to pass on uh in other weeks there may be more to talk about in that regard but uh that's a recap for this Sunday. I wanted to mention this as well. Uh, this is for the last couple weeks. Uh, we have used the kids' rooms. Uh, so what we are going to do, if you have kids, uh, we're going to make the kids' rooms reservable for one family per week. So if you have younger kids and you'd like to bring them with you so both parents can attend the service, they won't be supervised in the kids' rooms, but there are uh, movies that they can put on and toys that they can play with uh, so that as families, we can kind of take turns uh, coming as a couple or coming as a whole family, even though there's not a separate program and, and all that kind of stuff for them. Hopefully that makes sense. Emma's away this week. She's in Victoria, so I had both boys with me and uh, they were with me. But that's it. Okay, good. Three minutes and 43 seconds. Let's wrap up this wrap up, okay? I hope you guys are well. Uh, registration is going to be open now for next Sunday. Hope you guys can make it. Peace out.